Hey yo, how's it going boys? What is up? So it's back once again for yet another character impressions. We back again. Hello, how you guys doing? It's been a while since I last uploaded anything on YouTube because uh, Guild War is a thing, uh, FF14 is a thing. Yes, if you didn't know, I have been playing FF14. Especially for the boys in uh, on the YouTubes. If you haven't been on my stream, you probably never, you don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, after three fucking years... <laughs> Wait, no, more than three years. <laughs> more than three years, we finally got our brand new grand character for water, right? I know it's like thousand plus days or some shit, so it's like around th x three years. <laughs> so we finally got a brand new grand character for water. And his name is Poseidon. Of all characters. Here I thought it was going to be Aquaman, just kidding. <laughs> And then we get DC collab. Oh shit, man. Then get Superman and shit. God damn, brother. <laughs> uh, okay, so he has uh, 1260, uh, 1260 HP. He has 9700 attack. He's a primal. He's attack style. He's a spear user, yes. Alright. Chris, Chris, crisis tria, 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 yeah, names. <laughs> Let's see water damage to a full boost to all allies. Water attack. Uh, bonus effect that what bonus damage to a foe with tight, tight father, father's judgment effect is that extra nuke? <laughs> yeah, that's an extra nuke. So water attack is thirty percent at water attack up. So that's cool. So who, who whenever he has whatever target has this thing, which is yeah from his first skill, he gets extra seven hundred percent bonus attack. That's actually pretty huge though. Yeah, that nuke is actually pretty strong. So his first skill is water damage to a foe and then inflict that thing and raise thunderstruck level by one. So this is very similar to Albert, I think. This is Albert's, I think. The Dark Albert's uh, shit. And then he gets this special one, which is... He has DOT, attack and defense down. Which is 30%? Wait, how much is that? Oh, 10%. Oh, this is only 10%? Uh, I was thinking it's gonna go 15 or something. 10% is still pretty okay though. I mean, it's permanent, right? Isn't it? It's pretty high. 10% defend attack down. And DOT is... 50,000. Eh. I mean, 50,000 is kind of like whatever. Extra damage per turn, I suppose. Sure. I think the really, really good thing is just... This, really. Like... Just being able to reduce that and then you have basically a permanent debuff and then you just get free extra nuke for like the entire time so basically i don't know like otk character of some sort well not really otk character like full auto as well it's gonna be great okay so second skill is uh ruler of the sea water damage to all foes boost to all allies attack and defense stackable 20 percent boost to charge bars consume all tight fathers levels Boost to specs based on numbers consumed. Huh. Okay. Uh, Ishmir. Boost to water allies debuff resistance. And damage reduction drain effect. Huh. So everyone gets this thing. So that's a special one, right? So Ishmir, hundred percent debuff resistance. Up. Wow. Okay. But the uh, cooldown is twelve turns. Huh? Okay. Damn, hundred percent debuff resistance. So you just don't get debuffed at all. Twenty percent damage reduction. Uh, one thousand drain. Wow. Three prongs of judgment. This sounded like three dicks for of judgment. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Catchy. <laughs> Deals triple attacks. Low charge bar gain. Normal attacks deal three hit damage to random foes. Wow. Well, fuck me. Tight father's Sunshine. glory. Uh, when a f water ally uses a charge attack, boost to Poseidon's charge bar. Raise tight. Reach, raise tight father's level by one. So with this, he gets seven percent charge bar for each, for each 
charge attack. Oh, so this is this this is technically Win Green uh Valentine Green Mirror, isn't it? All right, so uh, yeah, that's insane then. He looks really good for full auto though. <laughs> I'm not too sure about the uh, burst setups though. It doesn't look like he's really good for burst setups. This looks like it's just really good for full auto. If he has 9 stacks, wait. Right? 9 stacks is the highest, right? He's tight farther, 9 stacks. If he consumes 9 stacks, this thing reactivates 10 times? Am I reading that correctly? So you cast, he cast this shit 10 times. Because wouldn't that mean that he's also nuking at the same time? Doesn't that mean that his nuke is fucking insane as well? Hmm. So basically, Valentine Grimnir, dude. Like, it's so identical. Valentine Grimnir works almost identical too. Like, he buffs himself too, but he nukes as well. But he only has that link shit. Valentine Grimnir is like debuffs, right? This is his nuke. This one. He debuffs, but instead of debuffing, Poseidon buffs instead. So it works exactly the same. It's just literally opposite. One is debuffs, one is one is buffs. The only downside is this thing is relatively long. He has this as well too. <laughs> it's the same. Then the other difference is that uh, I think Poseidon has lesser buttons and does more damage because of this. And uh, this one. The only difference I think Grimnir will always need like full auto. You'll always press this, which technically kind of goes up a little bit slower because you are wasting time pressing buttons right in full auto every time you press this because every turn full auto you're gonna be pressing this too while this guy doesn't do this all the time and doesn't look like he uh he ogies all the time too so i guess that kind of makes sense that uh he has this so strong 35% slower as well too his charge bar gain yeah, it says 10% here, but because he has this lower, so it's actually 7%, right? Because that's what it's saying. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's just look at the EMP. EMP is pretty good. He has this, he has this, he has this. This, 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 this. Just max all this out. <laughs> Yeah, just, just just max all this out. I think you're good already. This 6. The water attack, the stamina, the 2 caps, the crit. I mean, this would be nice, but I don't... Maybe you don't really need it too much, because... I feel like he won't really be ogeing too much. Maybe if you're in a setup that actually provides a lot of meter, then he maybe he'll ogee a lot. And also because do for this, I guess. This will probably allow you to Ogi though, right? Because of this. Because he does look like he can get this very easily. Right? Because it kind of just relies on your other party members to Ogi. He basically just needs that. So I guess Doggo will be his best friend. And then if you do it immediately, this will just get... I mean, this one is indefinite as well too. Basically, this lasts forever. But it can get dispelled, so... That's the only downside of that. I mean, he works with a lot of characters. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> There's so many characters that he can work well with. Because he's... He's a very, very straightforward, all-rounder type of character. And just does a lot of damage. It's very similar to like how Grimnir is. Grimnir works, so, works well with everyone. <laughs> right? This is what Grimnir is. <laughs> He buffs, gives a lot of damage, he does a lot of damage to, uh, by himself rather. Because Grimnir does give some damage because of this too. Rather than just providing a lot of damage by himself, which technically he does, all thanks to, well, this, this cyclone crap, this stupid nuke stuff, yeah. So he nukes a lot by himself and then he provides this to the entire party. So that's why Grimnir is so strong, right? And then... This guy, whenever he actually able to nuke, well, Ogi, right? With uh, this thing. Whenever you press this thing, he will just get free nuke, essentially. So whenever he has this up, he'll just get free nukes. And he just get a fuckload of that, uh, yeah. Technically, you can just manual and not press this button too, technically. <laughs> Because it's not like, it's not like, uh, it's not like this character is like Naru, right? 
you know? It's not like this character is Naru where... What's that? He can't... She cannot... He cannot... Gra uh, what's that? Get any meter, right? It's... It's not like that. Because Naru can't get any meter at all. See? No charge bar gain at all. This guy can. He's just 35% slower, right? He technically still can fill it up. It's just much slower than... Like, compared to normal characters. But I'm very, very certain he can still do it. Because he's guaranteed triple attacks. And he hits so much anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. He'll ha have like a fuckload of autos, no matter what. And his debuffs is fucking significant. Because of this. And this. So this one is really, really good. It just kinda allows you to not- I mean, allows the boss to not really multi-attack too often. 20% is pretty good. But I feel like the probably the maybe the only problem for this is that you are not able to cast this too often. Right? In comparison to like the likes of uh, Albert. Because if you compare this with Albert, because I think only Albert is the only other character with that debuff, I think. Where's Dark Albert? Yeah. Yeah, you see? Because, uh, you see a character like Dark Albert, right? Albert ends his cooldown, right? Every time he ogies, he will be able to reset this. Poseidon does not. You see, Poseidon doesn't reset that, so... It's very, very hard for him to actually get this up and running. But I don't think it really matters, because to me, the main point of his first skill is really this... Uh, this, this, this thing. Well, not not much on this, but this too. This too, and just being able to allow him to do this. That's really like the, the, the real point of his S1. Like his S2, just having that Thunderstruck thing is like, sure, cool, yeah? <laughs> That's just an extra stuff. It doesn't really matter too much. It's like, yeah, bonus, bonus debuff. Can pretty much ignore it, but you know, doesn't really matter too much. But this... Having 10% attack and defend down there, like basically permanently, is fucking fantastic. So you don't really have to like reapply that shit over and over and over again, you know? And then he literally just automatically gains this, by the way. This is his base cap 1.1 million. Meaning, this is his like lowest, this his lowest cap at the moment. This is without like all the Seraphic shit, all the Akaram shit, nothing. So imagine you add all of that, he can probably hit like probably 3 plus million quite easily. <laughs> so imagine that, his base nuke is 450%, right? So probably he can hit like, judging from how water tends to be these days, he can hit probably like 5 million plus, right? And then with this, he gets 3 million plus. So that's like 8 million Ogi already, right? Isn't that like pretty fucking insane already? <laughs> Right? No? Isn't that like fucking awesome? And then he has like such a good sustain with this. Even though I feel like, yeah, Tioftens kinda sucks, right? Seven turns downtime, ugh, you know? Seven turns kinda fucking sucks, but this is also a really, really strong skill nonetheless. Just because that you're literally immune to debuffs for. Five full, full five turns. This is, this is like so much stronger than just a veil, by the way. Like, in the entirety of five turns, whatever motherfucking thing he does to you, you're just not, you're just gonna miss, 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 or resist whatever shit. You're just not gonna get anything. This is insane. I, a lot of times, right, it's much better to see these, these days, rather than, you know, the likes of veil or some shit. This is so much better, you know? And it's like, yeah, this one is fucking great too. And then, yeah, this one's pretty good too. So you can just get up to like, I don't know. If you get like 3k, 3 times 5 is 15k. You can get up to 15k HP per... Uh, per... Uh, per the entirety of this duration. Because uh, 5 turns, right? And you can triple attack per turn. So it's 3 times 5, right? So it's 15k. Yeah. <laughs> So you get 15, you can get up to 15k HP in 5 turns. 
I mean, well, tr you get basically 3k per turn is considered pretty good already. So it's not too bad, right? He's a pretty damn good character, so... I mean, he's fucking... Like, it's, it's so obvious, right? If he has some stuff that is like similar to... Grimnir already, right? Because Valentine Grimnir is already so fucking strong, right? Up till today, by the way, even though he's like, what? 20... 29... 2020? He's like... Almost two years old already, because next year's Valentine is technically two years old, which I'm pretty certain he's still gonna be like the character to get anyway, because he's so still so freaking strong until today. Having this kind of skill set on water, and we all know how water is, by the way. If you, I'm not sure if you guys realize, water has a lot of echoes, <laughs> and he has this. <laughs> Water has a fuckload of like stuff that allows you to just just mash all those echoes together. Bam! Damage. <laughs> That's why. So he's really, really strong. He can be used in any given situations. I think. Like you can, dude. You can probably even use him in hard raids. You can use him in full auto. Um. Technically, you could also use him in OTK, but you're, if you want him to do more damage, you kind of forced to press an extra button, which is this one, so he can actually get this, you know, for example. But um, technically, he doesn't need to, for the most part, because like if you, if say like you're on a weaker side of things, right, and you just want to use, if you somehow got him or something, and you want to use for like OTK stuff, you can technically use him because of this, right? This thing is really, really handy because it just helps you a lot to uh, to have consistent damage. Because especially if you're like early, like a uh, relatively early game kind of player, you will have problems to get consistent damage. So this, usually stuff like this will help you a lot. Like, yeah, it'll help you a lot. So you don't really have to re just rely on this. But yeah, if you are just lacking on damage, you can just press this button anyway. So... Hmm damage right <laughs> plus this is <laughs> i mean look look even pressing just pressing his s1 is already doing so much damage right it's literally the same as this like what the fuck <laughs> so yeah it's pretty damn strong right okay what's his weapon <laughs> huh cool i guess meteora is not needed anymore <laughs> I remember Meteora was somewhat used, being used back the, uh, before this because of uh, because of the enmity and garrison together, and then you get a bit of attack. I think where the fuck is Ingui? Yeah, do you see? You get small, and then you get big. Small enmity and big attack, right? And then you get small garrison. But then you get this as well. <laughs> And then you get big fucking garrison and big enmity. I think you only need one though. Yeah, I think... I see the the way this weapon works, I think you only need one. I see, can probably see you can actually kind of make do with two, but I don't think you really need two. I mean, I can, I can somewhat see people maybe going for two, but for like normal people, I really don't think you really need to go out of your way and get two. I think one is already pretty fucking strong already. You know, one is really already very very strong. Just just because this two is big. I mean, yeah, this one's great and all, but you know. <laughs> but yeah. So end of the day, Poseidon is yeah obviously preferred because, uh, I mean, he's 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 good in every given situation. He is so he has crazy numbers. I mean, he's a grand character too, so yeah. If you don't get him this uh, this banner, I think uh, it's not really a bad idea anyway, because he's gonna be there all the time. He's ev he's here every lake fest, so don't worry about it. So yeah. Okay, that's all I can say for Mr. Poseidon. I think I've already dragged this long enough anyway. Like what, twenty fucking minutes? <laughs> 20 minutes of just talking to him and not testing shit? What the fuck? Oh man, alright. Anyway, that's all I can say for this character. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Hey, hey. Okay, bye. Okay.